Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing all right. I'm not going to be playing the monk again for a while. I don't need to or want to or want to. Rumors about a, a bound of a witch who lives in the frozen East Kingdom suppliers have been told that she can craft incredible and delicious potions. Explore sub dungeons in the East to find the witch. Which potions? Okay. Uh, what do we need to do in the East? Uh, recommend for confident players and game veterans. Oh, we played that with the monk? What's our quest? We have to play with the priest. Okay. Uh, reward is a new dungeon. All right, let's do that. Let's play as the priest. Do I not have... Oh, I do have the priest. Okay. We're going to play as the priest. And I like priest dwarf. It's one of my favorite. But I also like other priest stuff. So let's try priest elf. I think that's a novel one. Um, uh... Mm, uh... I don't mind uh, Earth Mother. We do have some gold, so I could select one of these. Uh, we could do Mystera. Um, well, Mystera Elf is pretty good. And Priest, I believe Priest just gets extra um, mana, right? Or health? I can't. I think it's health, actually. So Mystera could be good. I always like Torog, but I, I, I'm very, I could very easily burn out Torog. Um, we'll definitely take the Perseverance badge. And uh, I don't think I want the Glowing Guardian. I don't think I'll ever take the Glowing Guardian again. Um, I might eat those words. Oh, we'll probably try it at some point. You know what? Let's just not pick, pick a god. Let's go with whatever we find, we happen to find. So... Uh, you notice I'm not doing a puzzle. Uh, I don't really want to try do the puzzles again for a bit So we'll we'll see we'll, we might come back to those. We'll, obviously, they're good money, but uh, you know uh, ev Any everything is good money. You can just like play the game and it's pretty good money So uh, we are starting off with an end as wall Destroy a dungeon wall and gain temporary physical resistance a good one. Uh, not a great one Not not one of my favorites, but uh, not not terrible and we have our meat man. So, um, let's see. We have, we could do an end as well and uh, build up some physical resistance. Try and take this guy on right away. Um, and kind of play this like we did with the monk. Generate a bit of uh, health and mana. Do another end as well on the, the wall so that we can uh, build up some more resistance. Reveal some more. Um... This is probably not going to work out as well as it did with the priest. Yeah, or the, sorry, the monk. The monk is made to, you know, be able to withstand the, uh, these, these kind of attacks. So that's actually not going to work out for us. Where are all of our level ones? There's a level nine. There's a level one. Like we can take on a level one maybe, but, uh, I don't know doesn't seem to be working out for us maybe um a meat man is not not the, the way to start out our our dungeon oh god i just realized snakes are, are bad they poison us cannot regenerate health through exploration that's not good we have our sub dungeon this is probably our witch potentially our witch what is this you touch the altar it disappears you feel motivated for conquest rumors abound of these nondescript altars showing up around the realm Find as many as possible with your kingdom's adventurers to unlock their full power. Which god is this? I actually don't know. I, I can't remember that god. Um, so we got some more level ones over here. Let's uh, check that out. Why are we... Hmm. I'm wondering why we are getting our, our health back. Health potions are 100% effective and extra 3 health is gained per level. We haven't leveled up yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to fight a level two, at least not a level two meat man. There's a, there's a, an attack. Let's just, um, kill some goblins and level up. Now we can fight our meat man, if we so wish. May as well use Endus Wall for a little bit of extra defense. We could check out that, um, well, there's another level three. Let's check out the level three. It's a goblin and we have enough health to take on the goblin. Again, we may as well do Endus Wall just to make sure that we um, resist their uh, their damage a little bit. That worked out well. We have another Meat Man, level 3 Meat Man. 
Um, we can kill this vampire in two hits. Um, they do 12 damage, so we should be able to withstand them. But uh, we don't. We can't withstand them at uh, reduced health. So this pissorf is actually great. Um, love, love me a pissorf. Great, great business. The pissorf. Um, hmm. But uh, we don't. I guess we. We. I'm, I'm looking. We have 11 mana. It's. It's an uncomfortable place to be at with our mana because uh, we don't have enough to, to cast pissorf more than once. I'm thinking actually, I was thinking, oh, I will do Pissorf into the wall, but it might be better actually to do Pissorf into the vampire. Uh, they're at 26 health, I think. So um, that did a little bit of damage. It's it's hard to tell. I mean, I, I guess a little bit is better than nothing, but it's, you know, not, not as good as you'd hope. But I actually do think it was able to, it was enough to get us that meat man kill so that that works out for me uh do we have any level fours not not yet we're getting kind of unlucky with some of these um enemies this is one of the reasons i like the fighter is it means we can we can uh oh this snake is going to we could push them away actually another good reason why piss orf is good um the fighter can can see where all the monsters are so that's one of the best things about them uh we can actually kill this meat man without dying and especially if we also uh do end this wall a couple times we're, we're gonna have a pretty uh, healthy amount of health good amount of health all right that worked out um we have a level five i don't think we can kill a level five especially a level five meat man um we're very close to leveling up i would like to like we could consider um fighting this level five and then um leveling up using the oh there's a level five vampire level five vampire isn't terrible in fact if we could push we could use piss orf three times this is 50 percent of our base uh attack and our base attack is 15 so that's going to be like seven attack um so that means we can do 14 damage to it before we hit it i don't think that's enough it does 25 that's more than half of our health uh and i don't think 20 percent physical resistance is going to make the difference it could but then again um that you know it takes into it takes for granted the fact that we're going to be like using all of our spells um i could i'm just like thinking out loud at this point i'm thinking uh we could use a um a, a potion or two to kill this guy I could use some mana potions. Um, like we could use three piss orfs. I guess I'm doing it now. Three piss orfs um, to uh, soften them up. It really didn't soften them up too much. Um, and then a mana potion once more with feeling. If I can do it two more times, we'll, t we'll use our mana potions. If we can do it two more times, we could kill them. All right, cool. And that's going to level us up. Um, so now we could take on level fives. We could probably take on this meat man. Let's see. Yeah, we can, I think, just barely. So let's go ahead. We want to use our uh, Endus Wall to make sure that we're taking full advantage of things. I know we can use the Endus Wall more than once. I know you can use it more than once and it will stack. Um, I'm not super interested in that. It doesn't really matter. Um, so long as I'm using them at all, I think it's it's good enough. Badge of Honor. We have a we have Badge of Honor along with our Perseverance Badge. I wonder if there's an achievement for that. We don't. Oh, we do have enough ma um, money to get it. Adds Death Protection. So it gives us Death Protection, or we could gain plus ten percent damage on use. Does this have the same kind of thing? Can I use this? No, apparently not. So if I um, if I buy this, if I um, let's see here, ten plus ten percent damage. Click to use. Um, that's weird. Is it like temporary? It can be used to provide death protection. Destroys the item. Oh, I see. So it's providing us with plus ten percent damage now. But if I use it, it'll give us death protection. Gotcha. Okay. That's fine. Um, that's pretty good. 
We've got tons of snacks over here. That's uh, what they refer to them as in uh, in the tutorial. I think I just killed that lad. Yeah, I did. I meant to push him aside so I could like check out what's over there, but apparently I killed him. And um, I same over here. I was trying to like I, I, I guess I didn't kill him, but I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to kill him, and I didn't. So that's good. Let's kill this vampire. We're going to have to kill um, a couple of dudes at our level, and that's not necessarily good. You really want to be punching up as much as possible. It's the only way to get to level 10 if you want to get to level 10. And you get some more money for getting to level 10, so I think it is, generally speaking, a good idea to do so. Um, but it's, you know, if you can get a couple of snacks, and there's level 3 here, that'll actually level us up. So why don't we go ahead and do that? There wasn't anything, like, ideal to fight, so that's hence why I did it that way. Um, there's a goblin here that a level six goblin that we can kill without dying. I mean, that's gonna you know, make sense, right? So let's go ahead and do that And we have a level six meat man meat men are tend to be pretty uh, harmless. We have an I'm a wall I'm a wall very late in the game to be finding an I'm a wall to be honest Very very late in the game um, But you know not too late there's, oh, I, you know, luckily, luckily I try and keep some level ones and twos on the board, um, just in case that spell, this, this spell shows up. I think that it's, you know, generally it shows up a lot. So, um, you know, worthwhile. So let's go ahead and, and do this. Can I kill this zombie? I can. So let's go ahead and, um, use this. I'm a wall on the snake. I don't think I ever want to fight the snake. Because it poison us, poisons us, and that's just a waste of resources. We'll go ahead and kill that zombie. That'll be a nice chunk of XP. And we can do more or less the same thing again to someone else. Maybe this level 6 meat man. Um, I want to recover a little bit of our health. Let's see. Can we take the meat man? Uh, not quite. What about now? Mm, still not quite. But I think we can, actually, because uh, what we can do... Well, first of all, let's turn this guy over here into extra XP. Then we're going to use Endus Wall on the stone. And now, yeah, I think we should be able to kill this guy. Maybe not, actually. We'll try it. Uh, I don't even have enough for another Piss Orf, unfortunately. For a, a Piss Orf. Um, can I get away with it now? Yes. Cool. Wait, what? That didn't do it? Well, this should do it, right? Yeah, that, that does it. Cool. Now I'm level 6. Um, where are we with the Warlock? Not great. Um, I, I think Warlocks tend to have less health than other things of their same health, or their level, I mean. But looking at this warlock, they have the same amount of health as this level 8 goblin, so that might be completely wrong. Um, I know that meat men tend to have more health. That's their whole gimmick, is their, their meat shields, basically. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess with the warlocks, we probably want to be able to hit them with magic damage if we can. Um, we're at 30 base now, so if I can hit them with 60%, it's going to be at least 15. I'm going to assume it's going to be something like 18 damage per hit. So that means we could do 18 times 3 damage to the Warlock before they do anything. So it's going to be 30, close, close to 40 damage, uh, 40 health. Um, and that's actually not enough because, um, that means that they're going to be at least around, uh, you know, above half health, and that's I can only afford to take one damage from them. So this warlock is kind of not going to work for us. Um, Meat man is kind of a pain in the butt, but but I could potentially um, kill them. I I have a better chance against the meat man than I do against uh, something else. Um, so why don't we consider? Let, let's do that. Let's do three. Piss orfs against the, we're only going to do 50% of our base, so that's 15 each. So we're doing 45 damage total. Is that going to make the difference? I think it might. Maybe not, actually. We might have to use a potion here. Do Oh, uh, very, very s stupid play, actually. I uh, just realized we, we didn't set up a stone. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. 
I, I actually accidentally revealed exactly the perfect amount of um, uh, tiles to give us enough mana for that wall spell. And now um, we're going to smack, smack, and we actually get away with it, which is nice. So we got a, we got our bonus plus our bonus plus our bonus. You know, we got all the bonuses. Um, this is a troll heart plus two health on level up. Very late, too late, I think. Not worth, not worth it. We have a level one over there. Let's go over there. We have to recover some um, damn. Oh, we have our god. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and turn this guy into stone now. May as well. So we have uh, Earth Mother. Earth Mother isn't awful. I don't mind Earth Mother at all. Um, she's not great, but actually the one nice thing about Earth Mother is finding her this late in the game, um, she can benefit this late. Like the part problem with Torog is Torog wants you to get kills after you've started worshiping him, right? So when you find him late in the game, um, you're not going to be able to get all that much worship from them, and therefore you might not be able to make use of them. Uh, but the nice thing about Earth Mother is she takes advantage of the blood, uh, the the blood spots on the field. So it doesn't matter how late in the game you find her, you're still going to be able to make use of all of the kills that you've made. Um, that being said, it's still kind of a pain in the butt because you're basically completely covering the field with plants, which can kind of choke off some of your available, uh, you know, tiles. That being said, I think that it's important in desktop dungeons to, um, make the most out of all of your opportunities. We have an extra spare Ima wall here. I'm going to go ahead and convert that right away. So let's go ahead and turn all of our blood into plants. That's going to give us 87, 87 worship, which is great. Um, enemy of a follower is the enemy of nature itself. The Earth Mother will temporarily trap and slow all non-plant creature enemies on the current dungeon level. Spawns five random uh, plants. Um, yeah, I just realized um, there's... Can I use a piss orb against these plants? I don't think I can. So, unfortunately, this wall here is actually going to be quite the problem for us. I wonder if I can... Can I use I'm a wall on a plant? I don't think I can. Oh, I can, actually. I can't tell if that gave us worship. It kind of seemed to. I wonder if uh, Earth Mother actually likes it when we, when we commit... Commit our... Uh, plants to stone um let's we need to clear up some of this space first of all let's uh let's crack this open here so we get some tiles secondly let's go ahead and pick up some of this worship third let's um mana per plant this gives us mana for chopping down some plants removes random plants 10 so this is that's actually not terrible in fact we'll get we can make use of that now let's go ahead and do that um then what I would like to do is do green blood at least once. Purge unnatural auras and weaken those who stand against you. One curse stack is removed. All enemies on the current floor. So that corrodes the enemies. It's probably better to use it once you've gotten cursed and stuff like that. But using it anyways is not a terrible waste. But uh, vine form is just great. Um, vine form is something we're going to want to do a few times. As many times as we can, honestly. And we did do it quite a lot. That's going to give us damage reduction six and also just a ton of health. So we are kind of a walking tank now. Um, we could probably take on that zombie. Let me just see. Uh, not quite. Very close though. Like stupidly close. Actually, if I did like two Endus walls, I might be able to get away with this. Uh, one, two, three, maybe. Is there anything behind them? There is a wall behind them. So if I recover a little bit more here, do I have bonus XP? I do. This is actually going to gain me quite a lot. Could, in fact, it will level me up. Um, I think I can get away with this. Let's, um, let's shove them into that back wall right there. Um, we're gonna recover them a little bit by doing that, but that's okay. 
I just want to make sure I have 12 um, mana. So we're going to shove them. Ugh, this The problem is that we keep revealing more tiles. All right, that's fine. We, we're going to get away with it now. So let's go ahead and kill them. That's going to level us up. That's a nice, huge chunk of XP because we killed something two levels above us. Can we continue this trend? Um, I think we can... Can we kill this goblin? I think we can, actually. I wonder what happens if we shove them into a plant. This is a poisonous pod. Do you think we would poison the goblin? Oh, that's actually a really interesting idea. If we po poison them... Let me, let's see here. No, okay, so apparently that doesn't do anything. It did hurt them. Um, but I don't think it... I, I, like, so... Huh. I think it acts as if the poisonous pod is basically another enemy, except they don't take damage from that for some reason. I don't know why. Um, the ruling on some of the stuff is not exactly clear, but that's fine. Uh, we can do that two more times. Oh, let's make sure, actually, before we do this, we uh, turn one of our snacks into uh, a, a bonus, an XP bonus. And then let's kill them. So that's a nice chunk of XP. That was a level eight, I believe. We have our level nine over here. Oh, we only have, we, we can kill them in three hits. They're doing 63 damage, so we can take two hits from them. I do, oh, we do have walls next to them. Uh, interesting. Oh, what kind of walls are these? These, oof, I did not mean to do that, actually. Oh, here's our, here's our boss. Um, I don't know where I got this accent from. We, we read that one already. Okay, so, um... It's going to take five hits to kill the vampire, and they have retaliation. They do have corrosion, so there's opportunities there, but um, I don't I, I don't think we're going to be able to kill them just yet. Um, level seven. Uh, I think we should just kind of focus on a level eight. Let's go ahead and turn this guy into a wall. Just to kind of deal with that right away. And then we can actually end this wall right away just to just to get that money back. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. That was a complete misclick. Uh, the Earth Mother sends corrosive vines to tear your body apart. Cool. Great. So that is the entire... God suck in this game. My God. I completely misclicked that. And that's honestly, like, I, I feel like this game would benefit from an undo button. <laughs> like, I know that, you know, people are going to say, well, that kind of takes some of the sport out of it. I don't care. Straight up, don't care. All right, um, let me convert. Let me see. I still think I can pull this back a little bit. Um, oh, cool. I have mana burn from killing that plant, so we're going to have to use a potion. Um, let me try and recover some of my mana. I only need 12, and then I can start shoving this guy into walls. One, two, three. Um, make sure we have that experience boost. Kill. Good. We're good. Um, that is solid. Now, uh, I mean, we could just kill this guy. We're at level eight. This is good. Can we kill? We can kill that zombie. Uh, let's... Go over here and well actually let's just convert that snake there into a wall don't think i care too much is that another god over there i didn't even notice oh this is oh this is glowing guardian hate that guy hate that guy a lot i don't i thank you facebook um <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to deal with that at all uh let's go ahead and start shoving this zombie I'm pretty sure, actually, we don't even need to. Just, like, two smacks is enough. Good. Let's, uh... Yeah. These, uh, these walls look different, but I think that they're just... It's just a tiling thing. It's not actually, um, anything to care about. Level 8. I'm definitely gonna get to level 9. I don't know if I'll make it to level 10. I always like to make it to level 10 if I can. Getting to level 10 just feels good, you know? Just feels solid. Um, gonna shove this meat man into that wall there. And if I can recover enough for 12 mana, then I can get three shoves. That's really all I care about. 
but I guess before I do that, I should convert something else into um, a, an XP bonus, and it's going to be this goblin here. Lots of level ones in this playthrough, which has been great. Uh, before I start shoving, I want to make sure that I have at least 12 mana. Wow, very late to be getting that spell. Males will convert it, honestly. I really don't think that it's going to be worth using. I know it. I know it scales with their levels, so it wouldn't be awful. Um, but I honestly just think that I, I, I did the math, and I'm pretty sure Pissorf is just better. Yeah, I'm gonna convert it. I someone can let me know in the comments if that was a completely harebrained move. Okay, Pissorf Meat Man, Pissorf Meat Man, and then Pissorf Meat Man, and now uh, can we? I don't think we actually have enough. We might have to use a health potion, but I'm willing to do that. And I forgot that um, health potions for the priest are like ridiculously OP because they fill our entire health bar as opposed to just like one thing. So um, yeah, that's kind of insane. Um, let's, uh, I want to end this wall this because i want to make sure that i'm not missing anything over there and i don't think i am we're kind of running out of tiles very soon so i think soon to now would be a good time to uh you know what let's uh let's grab this clearance for for extra mana i don't think that the, we're going to be able to piss off dracul we might be able to. It would cost us a little bit of resources, but we could push push him corner. I feel like I'm like, you know, uh, <laughs> Dracula, th you know, third corner pocket. Just trying to like billiards him into stuff. Uh, we're level eight. It's going to take five hits. I think Pissorf doesn't retaliate. It doesn't retaliate. And we could do it three times, but I don't know if this is the play, to be honest. Um, we are very close to leveling up, and we have a Meat Man here. So two hits to kill that Meat Man would level us up. So I'm thinking we... Um, let's do Piss Orf once, twice, three times. Uh, smack. Smack. Um, right. I needed to hit Meat Man once before I started doing this. Can I kill Meat Man without dying? Yes, I can, actually. So that's going to give me my level up, and then we can smack Dracul two more times. And, like, honestly, no problem. Um, that, was, uh, that was a pretty easy win. I'm not going to grab that yet, though, because I'm pretty sure we can both clean out this dungeon, and I suspect we could maybe even get our level 10. So let's have a look. First of all, let's let's uh, count up what we have left, right? So we got 4, 8, uh, 13, uh, 20, 27. Okay, so 27 plus 12 is uh, 37, 39 is not enough. Okay, so let's see if we can maybe I'm a wall a couple of things into extra xp so first of all if i was to i'm a wall this four i would be sacrificing four xp but then i would be gaining 50 percent bonus xp on this level seven the level seven is gonna gain me seven xp which 50 percent of seven is not four so actually there is no way to get the extra xp unfortunately there is no way to get it uh i messed it up again I'm sure maybe there was a way to do it, and I, I, I could have done it, but it seems to me I didn't do it. What a shame. I was very close, though. I was really, really close. Like, uh, you know, like, what, what, are we, what are we at? Like, 39? I was 6 XP away from getting to level 10. I honestly think... Oh, uh, you know what cost me? You know what cost me the entire... Oh, God, this feels so stupid and bad. 
All I needed to do to get to level 10 was make sure I get an XP bonus before I fought Dracul. The extra XP bonus from from killing Dracul um, would have been enough for sure. So that feels bad a little bit. Uh, whatever. It's fine. I, well, I mean, okay, I can still get an extra gold bonus by killing everything on the field. But I actually don't know if I have enough resources to, to, to do so. Let's see. Well, first of all, we'll kill that guy. We'll kill that guy. Kill that guy. Health. Health potion. Kill. Kill. Well, that's, yeah, 39. That, that, my math actually checks out okay um and i want to make sure there's nothing over here i don't think that there's anything over here just i just gotta double check you know good to good to cross all your i's and dot all your t's yeah there's nothing there i i could if i wanted to be like really really paranoid i could check over here I actually did that wrong. I, another misclick. Um, so that's, yeah, never mind. But there's nothing over there. There's no, for sure, nothing over there. So let's go ahead and grab Dracul's teeth. And uh, we'll, that'll be unstoppable, killed all main dungeon monsters. And without using petrification. Really? Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, specialist, kill the last boss under using either magical or sp uh, physical damage, but not both. So that's pretty good. Um, we didn't get cheeky. That's fine. We didn't get faithless. That's unfortunate. Ding, Max. We didn't get... Didn't convert... Uh, Hoarder is didn't convert any items. I didn't even know if that was a thing. Didn't realize that was a thing. So for uh, killing everything, we get 15 gold. It's really not that worth it, to be honest. Um, but that's fine. And that's going to do it. We'll see what kind of rewards we get. Deep freeze. Faced with the might of our kingdom's ministry, the undead army has been forced to in into retreat. A decree has been made to send out heroes further into the icy wastes and learn more about where this scourge comes from. The dead should stay dead. Puzzles unlocked. Fun with trolls. Trophy sold. Nice. S special edition content. Hi there, you've just discovered a unique part of your ever-expanding kingdom. This used to be DLC in the original game. The Goat Glade offers an exclusive monster class to play with, as well as several ultra-special campaign scenarios. These challenges are not to be underestimated, so invest your gold wisely. Finally, a goat of my very own. Goat on goat action. Gotta fight goats with goats. Yo, where, where are my finger goats? Or how about my, uh, my, my hoof crossbows? Honestly, I'm disappointed. Cool. Um, I have actually been resisting clicking on this because I thought it was funny, but I guess I will click on this now. Classes goat person. We don't have enough to upgrade that, so never mind. <laughs> complete, complete waste. Uh, we have our guild. We could upgrade our guild. We have enough to get one new class. Halfling clan. Oh, we didn't even get. We didn't get halflings. All right, let's get halflings. Kin unlocked halfling. Puzzles unlocked. Hello, halflings. We got some puzzles and we got halflings. And we got a new dungeon. Quest unlocked. Cult of personality. An old-fashioned death cult hides out in the frozen tundra. Their monastery conceals the entrance to a great underground city. And it just so happens that our kingdom's heroes need to get through. Defeat the creep light cultists. Hold on. Death cult. Um, okay, so I, I didn't realize that I thought the flag meant that we have completed that dungeon, but I guess the flag means that we have a quest there. So we uh, have yet to do a lot of these, actually. So what's uh, what's over here? Anubis. Anubis, cult of personality. We have to um, just defeat it. Nothing fancy. Okay, well, uh, that's going to do it. I'm not sure what we're going to do in the next... Um, game i don't know if i want to do the creep light ruins just yet i think i'd rather like maybe we'll do um venture cave just to keep things interesting uh requirements get it done with you need to manage unstoppable so we just need to make sure we kill everything petrification not permitted against level eight or higher that's fine 
uh yeah let's try that in the next uh in the next session we'll see what happens if you're enjoying this series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy